Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is a review of the Digital Rebar 4.13 release. And in this release, we really break through the final barriers to become the complete infrastructure platform. As always, Digital Rebar reflects our core values, helping you solve urgently long-term problems, building that foundation for your operations without overlooking the fact that you need to get stuff done. We never take ownership away from you. We let you take ownership and maintain ownership of your systems while collaborating deeply with you and seeking to understand your problems and solve them in your context. With that in mind, what we've built with, deep, with Digital Rebar listens deeply to what our customers have been asking for, what the market has been looking for in infrastructure operations. It is a complete stack from the very bottom, bare metal, all the way up through virtualization management, governance, orchestration, dev portals, and pipelines. Drilling in here, what we've been able to do with Digital Rebar is build a system that can run your infrastructure from the very first day you start any piece of equipment or build an edge site or build a new data center. Every service, every need can be automated in a continuous infrastructure pipeline. And what we've done here is really finish that work. We've added the DNS and IPAM capabilities into the product that are necessary for bootstrapping infrastructure, virtual machine management clusters, and other advanced systems. We've added logging and monitoring into the product so that you can use state-of-the-art observability products inside the digital rebar system to complete the picture. That means that even if you have your own ways and services for doing this, if you're in a site that doesn't have them or doesn't have them yet, you can rely on Digital Rebar to get you started. Completing this picture is really important. And given all of the churn around Broadcom, adding in more and more virtual machine managers with zero touch has been an essential part of the story. And that is the place where I would start in this release review. We continue to improve our integrations with virtual machine managers, both the ones that we've been doing for a long time, like VMware and Proxmox, but adding new ones. Nutanix is fully in the mix. Scale computing is going to be coming soon. We've got some really important pieces here, and we don't just add them. This is a fully autonomous bootstrap for, without any touch. Networking, uh, network naming, IP addresses, certificates, the whole complex bootstrapping process we've automated. That includes for something as complex as VMware, where we've added version 8 into our agent list, and that includes Secure Boot. I will note, Broadcom does not allow us to distribute the Secure Boot version of the agent, and you have to ask them for permission to use it. Uh, it is a fully supported agent from our perspective, and we are seeing dramatic success with uh, version 8 of the ESX uh, suite for uh, our product. And we strongly encourage everybody to use Secure Boot whenever and wherever they can. Uh, it is a long-term digital rebar feature and an important one for you to implement. I mentioned that we have integrated DNS here. These are zones in the API, uh, and it allows you to manage DNS uh, at the bare metal level with no other infrastructure required in an infrastructure as code way. And the way we've implemented this, it will automatically inject machine names or other components from machines, it's fully templated DNS. So as machines come online, they are automatically registered in the DNS if you were using our DNS feature incredibly powerful. And of course, you can integrate it into your broader DNS uh, infrastructure and suite by forwarding uh, requests to other DNS infrastructure. We also have added IPAM here. Now, we've always had DHCP, but what we have added now is the ability to do more coordination and management around multiple IP address pools. So a, a real necessary part of bootstrapping infrastructure is being able to control and manage your IP addresses. And that's what we've enhanced in this release to give you a full DDI capability. 
One of the eagerly awaited uh, capabilities for Digital Rebar here is being able to go directly to HTTP, HTTPS boot. Uh, that is a UFI capability, and it allows us to bypass TFTP. Um, one note here is that we also have um, a new sledgehammer for you, um, and you need to be taking a sledgehammer update if you are updating uh, the new Digital Rebar piece. Um, but what we've seen is remarkable performance improvements by moving directly to HTTP or HTTPS boot capabilities uh, in Digital Rebar 413. Media Attached Boot is a feature that we've had in the product for quite a while. We've, we're seeing more and more adoption, especially as increasing threats like UEFI fail um, come in or Pixie fail. Um, those uh, attack vectors where somebody can interrupt a network boot mean that uh, some of our customers uh, are more eager to use no DHCP or eliminate network booting from their network. Media attached storage is something that we have had for a long time as a supported feature, but we haven't recommended it as strongly as we are now. We are making it um, a fully supported boot avenue for customers. Um, and I, as an operational note, uh, this is operationally more complex than network booting. Uh, it's a little bit, it is slower uh, and it's, it's more subject to failure. And so uh, customers who are interested in this approach really need to work carefully with us to make sure they are implementing it as robustly as possible. And this is um, hardware OEM vendor specific. So we have a lot of advice and assistance that we can offer in these cases. Another uh, long-awaited feature for Digital Rebar is the ability to have um, audit, create, update information in the objects. We've always been able to find out who did what using our logs, but we have elevated the last edit and the create authors in, and times into the objects. So now you don't have to look at any other sources to find the last edit or, or when an object was created um, in, in the system. That will, of course, only populate uh, in 4.13, we can't retroactively figure out um, what things were done. So as you upgrade your systems, uh, only new changes will be, new objects and new changes will be uh, edited and updated. The other, the fields will be blank for older objects. One of the exciting tech preview pieces here is an integrated monitoring capability. This isn't built into Digital Rebar specifically, but it is uh, enabled as a sidecar container for you if you want it in the system. Uh, Digital Rebar has always emitted Prometheus statistics, and now you can actually run a Prometheus system to track those statistics without any additional outside dependencies. The same as with Grafana, if you want to be able to analyze events and trends within a Digital Rebar system, you can now put Grafana in to get more detailed analysis of activity in Digital Rebar. And if you want to monitor the system and observe availability, uh, you can turn on Nagios, and our Nagios integration will also install it on the machines. So as machines come online, they become monitored in Nagios. That type of real-time monitoring is not something that we're adding specifically into Digital Rebar. It is an important component of operational readiness for data centers. And now uh, with these integrated components, you can actually bring them online as part of bringing up a Digital Rebar infrastructure and complete the picture for an edge site or a new data center as you bring it online. Another feature um, that we are continuing to expose, Digital Rebar does in uh, 4.12 and obviously afterwards uh, track activity in an anonymized way. We use this for our billing reports. Uh, we found that customers want to actually know how active their systems are, and so that was integrated into the core of the product. And in this release, we are exposing that view so that you can see how often your systems are added. This also will give you some base data, like how many uh, physical versus virtual versus containerized machines, what operating systems. It's a little bit of a census capability for you built into the system and now available in the UX and, of course, always in the API. And we have a significant amount of fixes and improvements. As always, um, we have worked to improve our security for data management. There's some tweaks and tunes into how we handle secure data. And um, we've also made significant performance upgrades where we have customers running incredibly large scale infrastructures 
um, putting us through the most rigorous testing uh, imaginable. And as we improve that, everybody gets the benefit um, and you will see continual improvements in our API and also in how our CLI interacts with the system. So a lot to offer there from an improvement perspective. And of course, we're always fixing and improving and enhancing the product. Um, while some things make it into backports, there is a large number of bugs and fixes that we catch during our testing cycles um, and become part of the new release. So always a benefit to upgrading um, just from the fixes alone here. With that, we have had a really big release here, um, really completing the stack. And it's always worth going back to understanding why we do this, why we, why we drive digital rebar the way we do. Our critical mission here is to help companies regain control of their infrastructure, to give you the choice of running your own infrastructure and never taking away the ownership of that infrastructure. We are a software company and proud of it. Um, and that means that we are helping you maintain your self-management in infrastructure and control. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, we love to know when customers are planning their upgrades. So if you are planning, when you are planning to upgrade to Digital Rebar 4.13, please let us know, uh, consult with us. We're happy to have people standing by or walking you through the process. Um, that helps us help you. Uh, and it also makes the migration itself a lot smoother uh, as we're able to um, give you insights into what we've learned helping with other migrations and upgrades. There's no reason to do it all by yourself. With that, thank you. Enjoy Digital Rebar 4.13. We are incredibly proud of it, and we are looking forward to hearing from you about your success too. Thanks.